and I still can't even touch my right shoulder with my right hand from an injury from 2019. Stop falling to not hurt my fucking hands. Ten, twenty, thirty, plus the bar, thirty fives. Hit that shit. I'm not using my legs to push, I'm just using my upper body. I don't lift weights. I got these just so I can do them once in a while. I like to do endurance lifting. Where now? I just did those 30s or 35s. And I'll take this 25 and I'll do it till my arms burn. And I'll do it fast. Looking for that explosive power, not that raw five seconds and you're done power. Who wants that? You got that Brock Lesnar power. Who wants that Brock Lesnar power? It's good for that first 50 seconds and then you're gassed.
these five pounders. What's up, buddy? Hi, my son. What's to come in? Looks like he wants to go for a walk. Triceps. And the further I go, the harder it is. You can't see me. You can see that bungee going. I'm doing my triceps. Like so. Don't do that, please. Biceps. Further I go, the harder it is. power but you don't have actual power and I'm doing all these like one after another like I'm not stopping here ones that I couldn't get because I keep going. Now we do some chest. And it's not hard, this is very light, but I don't go for power, I go for reps. Also great for your shoulders, flexibility. Triceps, focusing on triceps. This is after getting my core too, because I gotta stabilize everything.
still can go. Yeah. Dragon flag sit ups. I'm moving my whole fucking thing here. Marsh reverse Nortex. This is very good for your lower body and your hips and your core as well. And I just use these leg muscles to lift myself back up. And I have this behind here to make it a little bit easier. Just because my toe is still a little bit sprained, my other ankle that got, that got fractured in August last year is still not 100% bendy yet, so this helps get it to that bendy stage that I need it to get to. It also doesn't hurt when I'm doing it. my favorite wrist workout for making my wrists strong so I can actually hit shit hard and not fuck my hand up. This is about five pounds. Literally this weighs more than this two kilogram they're about the same. I still find this is a little bit heavier. So I do the left and right with my arm at a 90 degree to my side. The closer in to your side, the better support you have if you're out here. Now you're using this more. I want to focus on the wrists. So I usually go left, right, left, right. Preferably slow to start. Or if you have messed up wrists, try a stick. And just go back and forth if you want more resistance. Hold one end of the stick if you don't have a hammer. Golf club works too. Um, so yeah, this, do about one, two, three, ten times each arm, one, two, three, and then I like to take it like this, arm straight, and up, two, do about five of those, each hand, I'm just doing the short way, because Fucking done a whole shitload of stuff already. So I'm not on camera. So yeah, a bunch of those, and then you take it reverse and lift. Reverse and lift. I find this way is a lot easier to lift than this way. That's probably the weakest part of your wrist is lifting up with it. At least with mine, I find this way, way easier. It's like when you're turning something, you're turning, pushing this way. I don't know. And then another thing I like to do with this. Stretch. Okay. 
and I still came and touched my right shoulder with my right hand from an injury from 2019. And I still... Fuck this. Got bombs and I hurt my fucking hands.